What's up, guys? This is IK.com. This uh, disbursement I've been awaiting for years now. Mr. Taye has come out to lampoon and uh, air his opinion to uh, Dr. Ken Wakamba and uh, UAAG. So he's saying that uh, they thought they are the Messiah, but they've slapped Nigerian to the face. That the disbursement I've been waiting for some years now and still this year is still. Uh, we are still awaiting it. So he went on to say that these people are not Christ-like. They are unchrist-like. So just listen to him. Subscribe to our channel, guys. See you on our next video. This video is divided into two. This is the first part. We'll see the second part after this part. See you on the next video. Bye. Listen to him. Good morning, Nigerians. Uh, good morning. My respective brothers and sisters and good morning my beloved Mr. Shalom <clears throat> uh, you know uh, Mr. Shalom uh, this is not a kind of response that uh, contains um, anything of quarreling or insult. I just want to point out something to us in this grand community. Really, I do not want to talk anything in the grand community at this moment. Reason being that I lost my mother and uh, I am still mourning her. <clears throat> I am a Muslim though, but uh, I still have... Uh, uh, I just want to give my mother this uh, last uh, respect. Until now, when I listen to your voice note, when you are responding to one Honorable Paul, I love your brilliant submission. But you know that something gives rise to so many actions from the masses to Apostle Ken Wakama and to UAAG. In the point of fact, let me come down. In the point of fact, um, the masses has been made to understand, to know that uh, there is a grand organization that has promised people millions of naira if they subscribe to her to her grant correctly they will be disbursed to money in the tons of millions of naira so wish in that note everybody you know queue up to subscribe to that uh, uh, organization's uh, grants and the name of that organization is called UEEG that is number one number two UEEG was the, I mean, the masses in the grant community saw UAAG as a rescue organization, grant organization that came to rescue the masses from the pang of pain that Theobad Global Foundation plunged them into. What Theobad Global Foundation and other grants handlers did to the masses by making them going through an excruciative pain that in some times in some cases a lot of masses died so and uh UAAG now arise UAAG now arose from 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 nowhere as a rescue organization a grant organization that made everybody, almost everybody in the grant community 
subscribe to her grant. That is for that. And a country director was also made out in the person of Apostle Ken Wakama. From his look and from his utterances, the masses were made to believe that Apostle Ken Wakama is exempt, which means he is somebody that is bequeathed with the ability of truth feeling, sincerity, and honesty in the highest prayer. Only for the masses to be disappointed by the same people and organization, the same person and organization by way of failing promises dishing out to the masses lately. And not as if, that, as, if, as if that is not enough, a lot of people were meeting their necessary end, which is death, in an hideous way, mysteriously. People are dying out of heart attack. People are committing suicide. A lot of people were displaced. Even people that have the infantry to bear the lost, they are still even getting the stroke in a very hard way too because a lot a lot of men today in nigeria who are subscribers to this uaag grant are now vegetable they are now like the wife of their wife because they are incapable they cannot take care of the family they cannot take care of their children they cannot pay their rent they cannot pay their children uh, school fees necessary thing that they were able to do before they cannot do it now a lot of landlords today are now tenants a lot of tenants today has no home some are in the village you know shamefully doing things they, they, they were not doing before all because they put all their monies into grants properties have been seized by banks and uh, local uh, financial uh, 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 monetary outlets due to a lot of borrowing, lending. A lot of people go, go to those places to lend a lot of money in terms of millions of naira. But today they cannot pay back. Believing that in a short period of time, UAAG is going to disburse and they will have enough to pay to, to offset their debt. But alas, up to this moment, nothing happened. Nothing happened. What the masses get is nothing but lost and fail of, pro of promises from UAAG and uh, her principal director. So these are the things. My brother, Mr. Shalom, maybe you have fat pockets. If you don't have fat pocket, maybe you have things at hand that you are doing that can take care of your family. But if you fit yourself in the shoes of the suffering masses today, what the, what makes them a suffering masses is because they have put they have put in putting in all their lots into UAG grant, and that today has made them a pauper not just a pauper a helpless pauper that has to go through toiling through serious hustling before they can make it out sometimes they may not be able to meet up with with even two square meals a day and these are people that have children they have family responsibilities and and otherwise Today, they have been subjected and reduced to the rubbles of poverty. So what do you expect from such kind of people? Should they be praying to UAG for, for UAG or they should be applauding UAG for putting them into this kind of mess? When they put all their mind and all their trust on UAG and Apostle Ken Wakama as an abinger of help, from God Almighty, only for them 
to fall in cheaply into the trap of UAAG, follow in the footsteps of, of, of the former of, of the former grand handlers that have enjuked the masses into uh, into this kind of uh, heinous problem. So, Mr. Shalom, this matter where you bring comes where you advise uh, 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 Honorable uh, Paul. Now, good advice, oh, I not support the idea of threatening Apostle Ken Wakama's daughter by way of killing her or assassinating her. I did not support that. I still believe in the legal avenue of fighting enemies or fighting fraudulent organization or fraudulent personality. I believe in that area. I still believe I'm dying. I never declined for such concept, for such belief. I believe in legal way of handling issues. I don't believe in assassinating an innocent daughter belonging to Apostle Ken Wakama. No. But today, let me tell you, let me I tell you, my, 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 Mr. Shalom. UAAG, eh? Don't slap the masses for too long and the slap too heavy, too serious, too the painful for anybody in the, among the masses to start talking like this without their knowing. And go, we, go, go, they, go, they may be start pulling actions, a deadly actions without their knowing too. All this now annoyance that drive them into doing all those stuff. So what, somehow, we cannot blame them. That is for that too. And again, uh, God, Mr. Shalom, that parable of maize, of maize when they put inside uh, a transparent bottle for fowl to eat, and the fowl go things, if you see the, if the fowl go see the corn there, want it to go and eat the corn, but it go meet bottle. Uh, so which means the fowl not get access to that bottle. If Naso it be true, true for you, AAG, then nobody must is concerned. If they start to react and start pointing their kissing fingers on Apostle Ken Wakama, because if now really the way you talk and Naso 